Hey guys, we are back with more All-Star Battle, and we've already completed Steel Ball Run, but by doing so, we unlock this. This is the final story for Story Mode, Jojo Lion, which currently is being done at this time. It's right now continuously running, but let's just get to it, I'll explain everything. Oh, this is interesting. They decided to make this a completely different twist for Part 8. Yeah, and there aren't any secret missions here. We're going to be going all out. Wahoo! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just too excited, so let's do this. We're about to get started with Part 8, Jojo Lion. Gendai no Nihon, SC Momijiku, Mori Ocho. Totsujo, Machi no Naka ni Arawareta.壁の目と呼ばれる琉器物付近で肩に星型のあざを持つ謎の青年が地面の下から発見される彼は記憶を全て失っており自分の名前すらも覚えていなかった後見人によって東方丈介と名付けられた彼は自分の記憶を取り
This is going to be fun. Battle Tendency, based off the second arc. Once the man falls, he is absorbed into the earth and disappears. Josuke, shocked by this, decides to continue his investigation, sensing that there might be something to the wall eyes. Soon he discovers someone else buried below his feet. He resembles the man from before, but seems lighter, more agile somehow. After crawling out from the ground, the man insults Josuke and attacks. Same as before, no secret missions, let's rock! Good luck with that. Nice. Very useful. Ooh, that gotta hurt. Yo, you want some? You missed. Great, this guy's whacking me. Oh, I had no idea his his heavier hit does two hits. Very useful. What the hell? Okay, you want to play rough? You're not going to pull that taunt with me. Eat this. Great, I'm getting hit again. That's not fun. Ooh, that had to hurt. Hey, stop moving around. Ooh, causing a crumple state. Clever. Yeah, come on. Want some of this? Yeah, I'm just having fun with this. Since there are no secret missions, this just gives me the excuse to go all out. Great, he actually pulls a counter hit. Terrific. Oh great, here we go again. Whoops, guess he didn't get hit by that either. That's fine, I'm just gonna get more reason to kick your butt anyway. And now I shall finish you off. Now this is weird. In part 4 he has crazy diamond. Part 8 is soft and wet. I find it rather strange. But since they are like two different versions of Josuke, I don't mind it. Though I can imagine how they'll look when they collide. Not really. They're not really friends, but they're more like related. And we unlock the next episode. Episode 3. You guys can guess what this next episode is, right? Stardust Crusaders. Yare, yare da ze. I can't resist. After the second man is defeated, he too is absorbed into the ground and disappears. Continuing his search for of the wall eyes, Josuke witnesses yet another figure emerge from the ground. This one appears to be a Japanese high school student, but he is just as strong as the last two. Flashing him a steely look, the young man moves toward Josuke. Same as before, no secret missions. Kinda commands attack. Great, I get I get smacked. Yeah, some bubbles. This is interesting because Josuke A actually can use bubbles as a projectile. But the bubbles like disappear after a set distance, so you're gonna have to do it as close as possible. 
And I'm just waiting for this clown to hit, to hit him. Missed again. Boring. Bye bye. Oh, Gracie, you decided to push me around? That's fine. Yeah, you don't piss off a sailor dude. A sailor dude who has a stand that has a really weird name. Sock and wet. Why am I thinking negative thoughts with this? Now, but the weirdest thing about it is that he can summon bubbles from that mark on his back, the Joe Star family birthmark. That is just weird. That hurt majorly. Wait a minute, how does he know? That's not a good sign, isn't it? Whatever, we move on to the next episode. And believe it or not, the name is quite ironic since it stars the same protagonist in an alternate reality. Diamond is unbreakable. Defeat of the third man is also absorbed into the earth where he disappears from sight. Continuing his search of the wall eyes, Josuke witnesses yet another figure emerge from the ground. He is another Japanese high school like the third man, but younger and a tad shorter. After fixing his hairdo, he asks Josuke who he is before giving him a final warning. Yeah, same old. Wait, wait a minute. We start with 50% health? That's not a good sign. Oh well, let's just kick his butt. Time to tackle Crazy Diamond. It's just get eight versus just get four. Hurts. More bubbles work. And you're running away, is that what you're doing? That's not like you at all, Josuke 4. Nice that they actually can, like, can tell who they are part. But we can already know. Have a taste of some zero friction. You're done. You missed! And now we pull you in to the other side. That's not terrific. Got the same strategy as before. Beat down after beat down after beat down. It gets repetitive, yes, I know, but that's the whole gist of it. And now you pull on that end. Let's just let it hit by the hazard for once. Great, he actually got me. Eh, homing missile. That's a double hit. He actually got me again? Wow. Eat this. Slide away like soap, pal. Is 
It's gonna keep on going, believe me. Now we move on to episode 5. Where we take on another JoJo. Or should I say, JoJo. Then to Ario. Defeated, the fourth man is also absorbed in the earth where he disappears from sight. Continuing his search of the wall eyes, Jokke witnesses yet another figure emerge from the ground. The blonde haired boy exudes a mysterious aura, making it hard to get a hand on him. Is he Japanese or Western? A friend or a foe? It's impossible to be certain. In, his, in a smooth yet fierce voice, he speaks to Josuke. And looks like the only difference is that the enemy's gauge refills. This is not gonna end well. Let's go. You missed. Ah, got me in a crumble state. Oh, I see. He's putting it in a bubble seal. Okay, I'm thinking Sonic the Hedgehog 3 with this. And now I'm getting PO'd. There you go. Nice. Here, eat the eat the other side. Well, that was a bad idea. And the worst part about this, I wasted two meters on that. And he did just now decide to pull a gold experience requiem on us. I don't think that matters. Ow. Wow, what did he just throw me? And enough with the kicks. And he sends me stuff like snakes at me. This is getting really dumb. Ow. He has some more bubbles. Alright, now I'm getting fed up with this. I can't let you do that. Yeah, I had to do it. I'm not going to let you go gold experience Requiem. Uh oh, now I'm gonna have to power up for this. Oh, missed again. Uh oh, now he's in a PO'd state. Eat this. Jeez, I gotta quit fooling around. Seriously, I gotta stop that. Take it out. It just never stops, nor it'll never end. We just gotta keep going, because now we're up to episode 6. Boy, it's gonna be long. 